In this section, unveiling the mask. Defining psychopathy and sociopathy, we explore terms that often evoke fear and fascination. Psychopathy and sociopathy are personality disorders characterized by a lack of empathy and remorse, often displaying manipulative and antisocial behaviors. In this section, a game of mirrors, delving into the psychopathic mind, imagine a world devoid of genuine emotional connection. This is the reality for individuals with psychopathy. One hallmark is an inability to experience empathy. They may understand emotions intellectually but lack the capacity to genuinely feel them. This detachment allows them to exploit others without guilt. Psychopaths are often characterized by their superficial charm and charisma. Beneath the surface lies a cold and calculating mind always seeking to exploit vulnerabilities for personal gain. In this section, The Serpent's Embrace. Unmasking sociopathic tendencies, sociopathy shares many similarities with psychopathy. Sociopaths struggle with empathy and remorse but may form strong bonds with select individuals. Outside of these connections they exhibit a callous disregard for others. Impulsivity and aggression are hallmarks of sociopathy. Their actions are often driven by a need for immediate gratification, with little regard for consequences. Sociopaths may not possess the same level of calculated cunning as psychopaths but can be equally dangerous. In this section, Nature versus Nurture. Unraveling the roots of these disorders, the development of psychopathy and sociopathy is a complex interplay of genetic predisposition and environmental factors. Research suggests that genetics play a significant role. However, genetics alone cannot fully explain their development. Environmental factors, particularly those experienced during childhood, also play a crucial role. Early childhood trauma has been strongly linked to the development of both psychopathy and sociopathy. Inconsistent parenting styles can also contribute to the development of these disorders. Section 5, A Shared Stage, Different Roles, Contrasting Psychopaths and Sociopaths. Psychopaths are often described as cold and calculating, driven by a desire for power and control. Sociopaths, on the other hand, are often driven by impulsivity and a need for immediate gratification. Psychopaths are largely incapable of genuine emotional connection, viewing relationships as transactional. Sociopaths may form strong bonds with a select few individuals, but these relationships are often tumultuous. In terms of criminal behavior, psychopaths are more likely to engage in premeditated crimes, while sociopaths are more prone to opportunistic crimes. Section 6. Through a glass darkly real-world examples of psychopathy and sociopathy. Ted Bundy, a charismatic law student, used his charm and intelligence to lure and murder numerous young women during the 1970s. Bundy's case exemplifies the chilling duality of psychopathy. Aileen Warnos, a troubled drifter, killed seven men in Florida in the late 1980s and early 1990s. Her case highlights the volatile nature of sociopathy. These cases illustrate the very real dangers posed by individuals with psychopathy and sociopathy. Section 7, The Devil's Advocate Debunking Common Myths and Misconceptions. One common misconception is that all psychopaths and sociopaths are violent criminals. Many lead relatively normal lives, their manipulative tendencies manifesting in less extreme ways. Another myth is that these individuals are inherently evil or incapable of change. The portrayal of psychopaths and sociopaths as cunning masterminds is often exaggerated. It is crucial to remember that psychopathy and sociopathy are complex mental health disorders, not labels to be applied casually. Section 8. Living with Shadows. The Societal Impact of Psychopathy and Sociopathy. The criminal justice system bears the brunt of these disorders' impact. Beyond the criminal justice system, these disorders can devastate families and personal relationships. The workplace is not immune to the impact of these disorders either. Addressing the societal impact requires early identification and intervention, effective treatment programs, and support for victims. Education for the public and professionals in law enforcement, healthcare, and social services is essential. Section 9. Behind Bars and Beyond. Treatment and Management Strategies. Treating psychopathy and sociopathy presents unique challenges due to the inherent nature of these disorders. Traditional talk therapy often proves ineffective for individuals with psychopathy. Some success has been observed with cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT. 
For sociopaths, talk therapy can be more effective. Medications can help manage co-occurring mental health conditions, creating a more stable foundation for therapeutic interventions. Section 10, A Future Unwritten, Reflections on Research and Understanding. Advances in neuroscience, genetics, and psychology offer promising avenues for deepening our understanding. Neuroimaging studies have revealed structural and functional differences in the brains of individuals with psychopathy. Genetic research is also shedding light on the heritability of these disorders. Longitudinal studies are essential for understanding the trajectory of these conditions. The future of research lies in collaboration and interdisciplinary approaches. Section 11. Navigating the Labyrinth, Protecting Yourself and Others. Living in a world where psychopathy and sociopathy exist requires vigilance and self-preservation. Trust your instincts. Maintain healthy boundaries. Educate yourself. Seek professional help. Remember you are not alone. There are resources available to help you understand and cope with these challenges. By prioritizing your safety and seeking support, you can navigate the complexities of human nature with greater awareness and resilience.